What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Elude Star Plays. Today, we're going to be playing World of Warcraft, Dragonflight, on our level 68 paladin named Nightmare. This is my Voxango Marvel. This is how I EQ my voice coming through this headset. Um, This is... It's kind of based off the brighter and bassy, which is this. That kind of changed the way I sound a little bit. I have mindset to this, which is a little bit different. To, it's like the highs are a lot lower. There's also presence. I think I was running presence for a while at one point. There's little to no bass in presence. This is side bass removal. If I'm speaking normally, then... I, I actually have less bass in my voice. I don't know if this is amplifying or... This is the mids boost. If I go to mids... I don't know which which setting I should pick. Sometimes I'm like playing with the different settings. I want to check this recording back. I want to see what they all sound like. So I'm trying to give them each their own fair shake. And then we'll come back and check out how they've interacted. And uh, we'll pick our favorite from these. I'm going to go back to the one that we know, one, the one that I've been using. And then maybe tomorrow or the next video, after I've watched this one, we'll have a favorite from those. And then I'll try, I'll try to stream the next stream with that one. Watch that one back, see if I like it, and then continue. If it's, if it's good, we'll keep it good. If not, we'll, we'll play with the sliders and we'll start doing some crazy shit. But until then... We'll move that off to the side. And then we'll get properly introduced here to Nightmare. <clears throat> What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I've been doing things lately. I've been doing I've been messing around with the this thing called Chat GPT. I think I even did a video, the last video I did, I was recording myself. Actually, I was I was watching, I did some react content. I was watching some videos and I reacted. Like one of them was a music video, so I don't know how that would go. But I did a couple videos where I like reacted and stuff. But then I realized this is the setting, this camera setting here with my, my picture up here. Instead of this, like I did the whole video covering the video. And I don't know if that's better or worse, but I think it's worse because you can't see what I'm looking at. While I'm talking, but I think you could see the link or whatever. I don't know how involved I want to make it. I thought with that Psycho Crusher video, you remember the video Psycho? It was like episode 30, 33. It was like a few episodes ago where I sped everything up. On that one, I thought that it would be like an interactive video because you'd be like, oh, it's all super fast. You could actually adjust the speed of the playback with the little cog. There's like a little cog wheel down here. And you can actually change the resolution and the playback speed of the video you're watching. I do that quite often whenever I'm uh, trying to play a guitar song or something and I'm watching somebody give me a tutorial. I'll slow it way, way down so I can actually see them do it kind of slow. And then I try to play along kind of slow. And I learned a couple songs that way. Not just like whatever part of the song that I looked up, not the whole song. In some cases, like, they do show you, like, but regardless, <clears throat> that Psycho video was supposed to be s slowed down, so you could watch it kind of normal. But I did, like, some extra stuff to it, so you can't get it the exact speed, but uh, you, you kind of, like, your 0.5 seconds, your, your, your uh, 0.5 of, of the times slowed uh, off, even if you adjust the slider. Cause I sped it up 2.25 times and, and then I like did chat GPT math to figure out what that was in seconds or whatever. And then how it's, it's just how I had to edit it with that Sony Vegas that you had to kind of math it down and kind of like, uh, try to match the size of the video up with the size of the sound that you're trying to create. And it lets you do things like, uh, make it like chipmunk sound, but you could also just speed it up and not be chipmunk sound. So. That was kind of interesting. And then I, I could have like dubstepped it and slowed it way, way down and and just had like that whole thing like kind of slow motion talk. But uh, I was trying to figure out ways to get around the copyright infringement because it's like 
I figured if you distort a song enough, it's not the same song, right? You, you can have it like sped up so much. Like I did this Michael Jackson video, it was like a short, and you could speed it up so much that the, uh, the algorithm's detector doesn't identify it as that song. So I kind of did that with the beginning of that Thriller song where he's like, ah, 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 and you hear the door kind of closing. But <clears throat> yeah, so I try to figure out ways, maybe there's like a, uh, maybe there's a way I could do like an interactive experience here. I also am aware that this isn't perfectly symmetrical. This uh, this hexagonal pattern that I drew here, I, I drew here. I kind of took is this is an older hexagon that I was doing in a different video, and uh, oops, oops, I moved something and now it's all, oh shit, what have I done? Well, uh, yeah, so these honeycombs that I created here. So the two here, I, I don't even want to, it's a little bit of a process to explain kind of how I did that, I guess. Wait, something else. This is something else. What is this thing? I, I moved something and now my background's off. I don't know exactly how I did that. But yeah, I can, I think I could Google it. I could, this was just my eyeballing it, trying to figure out how to do something. And uh, I had every intention of fixing it, but I also didn't expect this stage, the, the three stage to last so long. I was gonna add a fourth and a fifth. And then, you know, I could create a little geometric shape just using the hexagons. What is that? What is moved over here? I think it's red. It's this, but it's locked. Oh, okay, I see, I see. So I, I thought I would start today kind of informal. Just trying different things out, seeing how it works. I don't know if people would watch my channel mainly because of uh, the games I play or mainly because of the rambling I do. So I try to make some videos more focused on the gameplay to see how those videos do and some videos more focused on the rambling to see how those videos do. But they're kind of like titled and organized the same so I don't know if people know that there are different experiences within these playlists. Ideally you get through the elude phase and you last long enough to meet the stalwart phase of, of the channel and content. I don't know if it just takes like enough a certain amount of time for me to warm up or if it's just that's how the wave is crashing on the shore that day but um i think of it also maybe it's like some sort of a deterrent like i've i've maybe built a deterrent in by doing like a filibuster at the beginning of my videos and then after so long like going ham going in starting to ill on them I don't know. I don't I don't know how he eludes. I just know how it smells whenever it's cooking. All right, so that was kind of an, a new kind of informal intro. A little bit of the uh, stalwart up front, but still a little a little elusive if you think about it. I don't know how often people with creative endeavors and stuff go and look at their work like and see like the inspired action that comes through like it's our job to be the discipline conditioned like vessel but there's like moments of inspiration or emergence where something else comes through and i don't know like when i look back I think it could be looked at as like conceited or self-obsessed, self-absorbed type shit, but I have to edit my videos and, and then I want those videos to be entertaining. So my whole job here is really just trying to keep myself entertained because if I'm entertained, then I keep working at it. And I think when I start doing that well, like I'm actually entertained, I think that it, it, it transfers. I think other people also become entertained. And, or I hope that that's the case. I hope eventually <laughs> maybe that'll be the case. But, uh, that's, 
that's all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to keep myself entertained and I'll, I'm trying to keep the experience fresh and fun. And not just the gameplay, like the conversation, the dialogue, the what's happening in the background. Like I want to play on higher quality equipment eventually. Like I've been using the same keyboard. Whenever I first started my channel, this is the background you saw on the header up there on the YouTube channel. And I think I even had it on the Twitch side for a little bit. I actually used a hand-drawn uh, background image for my offline page. And uh, my cousin had drawn it and I digitally transferred the drawing like with the mouse and keyboard actually. This mouse and keyboard. Well, not this mouse. I've replaced the mouse since then, but... Um, I think this is the same keyboard though. The finest goods. But all that to say is like when my in, when my external experience improves, I feel like that's going to improve the the stream as well. And I want to get licensing and stuff for uh editing software and and music software, studio stuff. I already have on a play uh, like a little list. I got like an Amazon wish list type thing. It's not a wish list. It's a, it's a happening list, and on that happening list, there is a sure microphone, the stand. Like I got, I got it all lined up, guys. I got the muxer, the multiplex. I was watching uh, Kirillis. Kirillis was streaming with another guy on TikTok yesterday, and uh, they were talking about, I think, the muxing apparatus that that takes like your microphones and your audio inputs and stuff like your uh guitars and instruments that you have and it it puts it all together right or keeps it in separate channels and manages the quality or something well i thought um maybe i don't do what they did it was like some limit or something like i don't know i don't even know how they had it set up it sounded like they maybe went with one of the muxers that had less ports so then they had to play like um ports musical chairs and i'm going for one of those that only has like two ports because it's like i initially i wasn't buying it for the business you know i was buying it for myself but i initially i hope i'm still going the right way i was initially doing that trying to save money but I may change my focus and begin doing things because it's more fun. And I want to have the best fun. Like, I don't want to have, like, no, some little bit of fun. Like, I want to have the best fun. So if I can get the best muxer or, like, the best mouse and keyboards, like, I think I would want to do that. So to the extent I'm able to do something like that, I'm going to take that opportunity and I think that'll improve my experience and I think by osmosis just as a, like when I'm happier I think the stream's happier when you were little like if mom and dad were ever up, upset like or anything was going on in that like it wasn't a good day like all of a sudden the mood changed but if they were happy and singing and dances those are usually pretty good days so I'm going to try to See if I can go about the stream that way. I'm gonna start trying to, uh... One time our drill sergeant, he said, If I don't get laid tonight, I'm gonna take it out on y'all tomorrow. <laughs> he said he was going on a date. And I was like, I never wish for another grown man to get laid so bad. I was like, please let this man get some. <laughs> please. Because I just don't want to suffer anymore. <laughs> but yeah, this shit was funny. I don't think we ever found out if he got laid. I think he did, though. I think he did. Because, you know, he probably just didn't kiss and tell. That's what it was. He was just a man of honor. A man of the uniform, you know. You know how it is. You, uh, you can try. You, you can try to do that if you want to do it. So we're going, going today. This is Nightmare. He's going to hit level 70 today. And then when he hits level 70, it's probably going to be tanks and, and, and dungeons and raids and mythics. I know y'all have been hurt before. 
by my dreams, by my ambitions, guys. I know you've heard it all before. I don't, I don't know if I can do nothing more than just show you now. At this point, I just gotta show you. We got, I think we got the juice. I think we got what the raid needs. I think we have the electrolytes. It's got what raids crave. Electrolytes. Come on, guys. Let's let's keep this bus moving. Two, two. Are they good back there? Did they ever make it? Are they tanking something? Oh, it looks like the healer wanted to tank. Guys, guys, we're up here, guys. We we were here earlier, but now we're up there. Come on, guys, guys, over here, over here. Come on. We have friends this way too. We want to also get to know these friends. There we go. We got this. It's it's not really anything, guys. We can take it all. I'm sorry about the healer. I mean, I don't know what came over me. I just, for whatever reason, I just wanted more on that bull. I, I just needed to target something, that's all. Yeah, hey, look at the healer and a little speed boost there. That way he knows, I see you healer. I see you got mana. That's the problem, you got mana still. We gotta keep going while you have mana so that you get to a point to where you're like, whoa, my mana. And then that way you know I see you. I see you. Don't wake up the Kalashi hunter. Y'all woke him up. Why? It was the healer. He, oh, he wants to see the world to burn. He, okay, okay. If, if he didn't want the diamonds, then why did, if it wasn't for the money? Some people, Master Wayne, just want to see the world burn. Not that that's his, maybe he, look, he's way back here. I thought you was all like, giddy man, get up here. Let's go, you ready? I'm ready. He was all ready. But then once we started getting steady, didn't seem that ready no more. What is it? What is it? Somebody else? Anything else? Any other questions? We're gonna get these guys up here too because we gotta get them all. There's a boss up there, so I'm just trying to clear this extra last little bit before the boss. I'm actually just going to pop this cooldown because I feel like it. We got to pop it every once in a while. I think using my moves puts it back on off a of cooldown faster, so... Just randomly throwing out my shields refreshes it. So it's a five minute cooldown. We're going to make that less than five minutes. You can put the timer now. Here, we'll start the timer. We got a clock here. See, we click on the clock and then we start a stopwatch. Show stopwatch. Oh, right here. Here, Here's the timer. So we got a little timer going right there. Four, five. It's been five seconds. I guarantee it. It's not going to get to five or probably even four minutes before Guardian of the Ancient Kings is back up. We can get the guys down there too. This guy with the pot on his back, he creates these puddles. So we're gonna be moving, but I'm gonna be moving that way towards where the next pulls are. So we can get these guys. Hey guys, guys, come on. Get your over here. I saw you looking at my healer. Looks like the warrior's tanking something. We'll taunt that off at him. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. I don't rightly know how it happened, but it did. I'm 
next. Thong, thong, thong. Every time we use our shield, we build stacks of redoubt up to three. And that increases our strength and stamina by a percentage. It stacks up to 6%, so it must be 2% per stack. And then we also get Relentless Inquisitor. I don't know exactly what that comes from, actually. You just dragon punch me. Throw your shield at him. Yeah. 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 Blazing Aegis. Oh, okay. We'll give the healer a little run speed buff so he can keep up with us. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's keep it moving. And then we're going to chug a choo-choo. I love this horse. I love that horse. My little pally. You see the puddles? The puddles is the real problem here. Bug life up in this. Uh, did I miss something? Because this should be open. I missed something. Ah, the tusk. The tusk. Elephant. El... Ele... Yes. I put El Pant. I didn't even spell elephant right. I spell El Pant. They said mammoth. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, the, the mammoth. Guys, guys, why are these people tanking all of a sudden? No, guys. Oh, we got some other ones. Somebody wants them all. It's fine with me. I think maybe we go pull more. Let's go get some more than this. The elephant is up here. Okay, okay. I don't be knowing these things, guys. I'm not... This is maybe the second or third time I've tanked this. We might end up pulling the other, other group. We don't have to, but we might. I could keep moving these guys up the stairs. That way we don't accidentally pull nothing in that room. Now this guy reduces the damage we take. See, that wasn't even five minutes, right? Oh no, that was actually about five minutes. Okay, don't... Just disregard what I said, guys. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just play this class. I don't know... I only know the sound it makes when it takes a life. There's the moment. So it was just like two pulls away. We weren't that far off. Now he's going to do a knock back here. I want to try to not get not too far back. So I'm going to get up against the wall. Up against the wall. There you go. Hello, friend. I like to pop my shield before I pop the moment of glory because uh, it refreshes the shield so I can get an extra shield in. Um. Dunk. Dunk. I'm still kicking soccer balls out here. Why don't you come out of that corner now? Cool. This way. 
Normally we'd go that way, but since I missed this boss earlier, we can just double back. Get up here, healer. My posture is kind of whack because I'm trying to fit in frame. I don't know if this camera is going to stay down here all the time. See, now we got this blazing apex blaze wing. So the, the apex blade wing, he does like a knockback. So we usually target him first. Doesn't look like the warrior agrees. Let's get some more redoubt up. Redoubt. There we go. I don't know what that move is. Doesn't look like you want to stand in front of it, though. There's some loot here. Grab the loot. We're in the fire, but grab the loot. Alright, these are the wens. These are just before the boss. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, he wants them all. He, he's pulling them all out here. He's like, pull more. Can we at least pull the ones that are relevant to the next boss? Can we, can we at least? Because those don't even have anything to do with the dungeon. Those aren't even... And we're not even trying to hit any kind of, like, percentage or anything here. Okay. What are we, what are we trying to accomplish here? It all just seems so meaningless. Oh, the humanity. Y'all want the boss too? Let's add to the chaos. Yes, at last. Emberstone. The forges will ring today, won't they? We'll Avenger Shield and then we'll refresh it and then Avenger Shield again. And then Avenger Shield again. And then rig out. And Avenger Shield again. I love this Avenger Shield again build. There's my Guardian of the Ancient Kings. Which seems like it did refresh faster. That wasn't five minutes the second time it refreshed. Here, let's make sure we still have these people's attention back here. Some judgments. Some long-range judgment. He's got a shield. I'm going to use this coins to throw at his shield so that it breaks. Yeah, that's right. Take those coins on your shield. Any bubble can be broken with enough cash. Just got to get more cash out there. It's too far away. Oh, we got a shield off of that, guys. I can even throw it on in the middle of combat here. Uh, 326? Yeah, I guess that's okay. That's what it looked like. Thank you for party. Peace out.